Debrefold, living on the grassy plains on the edge of Botswana's Okavanga Delta, where the herd has access to their essential daily water. Newborn foals are able to stand within 15 minutes and suckle in an hour of their birth. The mother keeps all zebras away from the foal for several days. This allows the foal to recognise its mother's distinct scent and unique strike pattern without interference from the rest of the herd. This is known as imprinting, and only once the process is complete does integration into the herd take place. Siblings will establish close ties through mutual social grooming. Zebras, like lions and many other bushveld mammals, have monochromatic vision, which means that they see in black, white and greys. Impalas also live in herds on the grasslands, but being adaptable feeders will graze and browse according to what food is available. Impala usually roam the open grassy plains by day and move to cover of bushes, if possible, at night. Because impalas are among the most common antelopes in the bushveld, they are preyed upon by a wide variety of predators, including lions, leopards and wild dogs, and therefore have very good reason to be skittish. Wild dogs are generally not associated with predating on zebra. The size of adult zebras, coupled with their herding habits, makes lions and spotted hyenas their only real serious enemy. Conceivably, the stripes on a zebra act as camouflage by breaking up the zebra's outlines, but their behavior does not fit with what we would expect from a camouflaged animal. Zebras are noisy and active, and they live out in the open, and they do not freeze in response to danger. Stripes can be a disruptive coloration. Disruptive coloration helps break up an animal's outline. This makes it difficult for other animals to see it. You'd think that Pitsy's black and white stripes would make it easy for predators to see her. Zebras are continually alert for predators. Zebra are dangerous prey. As a lion closes in from behind, they lash out with a kick that if connects, can at least deflect the final leap of the lion, or may even break it the predator's jaws. The number of zebra with scarred rumps from unsuccessful lion attacks testifies to the effectiveness of their defensive kicks. Having survived another day, Pitsy and her herd move feeding through the grass as the sun sets on the African bushveld, and the cycle of life continues. <laughs>